Hey guys, Copper Raven here, and happy Halloween. Got my ghost skin on, and I'm standing on the front porch of the spooky mansion that I built not too long ago. Now, um, what I'm gonna do is mute myself so that uh, <laughs> man, it doesn't hear me talking to myself. And I'm gonna give you guys a little look at the area here while it's still night quickly before he sleeps I know he will um, so as you can see I've been extremely busy um, we've got Newt's bridge here that comes across you come in obviously we've got some riffraff about um, to the left there is a lovely little pumpkin patch type deal and I just kind of did that to <laughs> fill up space and I added little wooden and stone buttons all through the build to I told you he was gonna sleep okay so this area right here is the little spooky red forest that I've put together there's a creepy little cave back here super creepy with the little dripping bits of water um, and particles and I, I thought this was kind of cool I made some of them look like they had fallen down um, I did this in a couple spots with some of the different trees or some were just old um, now up through this creepy forest there is this cute little area that J Ow, fire that Jane made now I filled everything in um, with spruce so she made these spooky little Halloween huts with vines and chains and all kinds of creepiness and these ones over here I think there's fire in the floor oh my goodness so spooky I don't think I'd want and I think this one's like all fire yeah oh some of it's escaping um and yeah so that part's looking good and let's see I believe if we come through here so you can see the buttons kind of looks like you know um, forest floor stuff or bits of the trees that have fallen down so if we come back over here and like we hadn't gone down there and just kind of continue on here we've got uh, the creepy new noises these really this thing has freaked me out a couple times believe it or not um we've got this awesome um, this was newt's hole <laughs> and panda came in uh one day and we gave it the fog effect and made it super creepy and used some of the red nether wart um things on the sides just to make it look like a big ugh, gross blood pit or something I don't even know um, let's see and then uh, if you come through this way there's one of these amazing like dead trees that panda has made and did I bring my did. I know there's like candles all around that need to be lit in places um, music rock I have no idea who did that one so we've got a uh, panda's beautiful thing that I added some <laughs> some lights some floating heads around um, if we go up this way now this was super fun I did this with an armistan so if we go up this way to the left this is the church that panda built oh I'm not sure why there's scaffolding going all the way up I don't I don't think that's actually supposed to be there um, and then inside uh, this makes me nervous okay uh, inside we've got the creepiness the creepiness Let me get a little bit of fire in here. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be like a demon church or something um, so out around behind the church as you can see we've got just you know a little bit of field area 
Um, and then the graveyard, we've got the coffins. One with, you know, flower, a bouquet on here. I need to make the item frame invisible. Got the bouquet on here for the person inside. We've got lots of random little gravestones and coffin. Um, there's, you know, just uh, a couple little uh, um, mausoleums or um, crypts uh, around here. Oh, see, I told you there was candles. Um, this one has, is, you know, been obviously, no, get out of there. Obviously been here for a while. Um, you went through and ruined all of my mood lighting. I know he doesn't want the mobs to spawn, but no, it's got to, it's got to happen. Um, and then, you know, just some random graves. Another one of, um, Panda's trees that he put back here for me. Um, I just kind of threw this last little part together. Um, there was a lot of, a lot more things that I wanted to do. And that's an ugly tree. And so is that one. I didn't get a chance to cut those ones down and replant them. I was really pressed for time. Um, Panda and Jean helped out the other day. And, um, Newt's, uh, well, Newt's been Newt. He did his bridge. Um, but we, you know, uh, for the most part, I did most of this by myself. Uh, this way over here is Mike's build that he popped on the other day real quick and did. This is his cathedral and I'm sure, um, you can go and check it out. I put a bunch of Enderman heads in here and he scared the crap out of me. He was in here, I think, doing a, a video tour of it, a video tour of it. And I stuck a demon head in here and turned around and there he was it scared the Jesus out of me. So, um, this is Mike's, uh, uh, excuse me. Can I... How do I? That's the way I came in, right? What? What just happened? Am I trapped in here now? Oh no, there we go. Okay. <laughs> So this is his cathedral. And then just wrapping around the other side here through some well-made forests, <laughs> I do say myself, is back to the mansion that I made. Don't look at the back <laughs> and don't look inside. I did not have a chance to finish it. I would have loved to do a spooky decor with awesome little traps where, you know, when you walk through the tour, like, I don't know, like things open and you see mobs and, you know, stuff like that. And I wanted to do a ton more of these and floating candles all over the place. But like I said, I just didn't have time. Um, why don't I, I'll show you a bird's eye view of it. So I'm actually using a, a little uh, a resource pack, data pack, whatever you want to call it, called Tweakaroo. Uh, it's got a free cam in it. I don't have, a, I don't have spectator mode here and I don't have a spectator account so um, this was a nice little tweak to be able to make it happen so you guys can kind of see the full scope of how busy I've been <laughs> um, so Newt's bridge comes in here we've got a little pumpkin patch here and then the red forest got a little bit of a wall that I believe pig cart has put in some sort of um, I think it's supposed to be some sort of noise, airwave, radio signal, canceling ring. And, um, of course we've got the magnificent red creepy forest with the giant pumpkin huts. This is one that I did. And these ones Jane did, those are the ones that we went in that have the cool floors in them. And then uh, obviously a bird's eye view of the um, blood, the blood, blood pit and um, pandas uh, tree. 
and then I just I, I thought that it looked better with a lot of the puzzles so I really I've been on for hours doing this kind of stuff so <laughs> just building chopping down building and then pandas church here which looks so good I went and added stop sleeping people <laughs> There's the church right here, and then out back the graveyard, you can see some of the little um, mausoleums or crypts or whatever it is that you call them. I believe a mausoleum is a little bit bigger, like with multiple people in it, like where the drawers are. And then these are just crypts for like one person or a family. And then Mike's Cathedral and the Spooky Mansion. And um, Pickard did his thing all... And the reason I actually built this here was because out back this way, it connects up with the snowy area where I can easily put a Christmas area, which would be, be a lot of fun if I get help this time. Um, Panda and Jane, like I said, Panda has been super duper helpful. And Jane really came in last night and helped do a, a, a big part over there that, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get done if, if she hadn't um, come in and done. And then again, there's still all the stuff that I still really, really wanted to do. Um, now, the last little part that I'm going to show you is right up through here. This is our campfire area. This is where we're going to gather today and tell a bunch of spooky stories. So I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing a little peek at the Halloween area. I worked really hard and I would love it if you guys would leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, share, share the video and also join me tomorrow, Halloween 2021. And I will be posting a special video of all of us um, that was able to there was a few of us that were able to get together and record some spooky stories here by the campfire so i hope you guys all have a safe and happy halloween and i had a lot of fun doing this project so i hope you guys really enjoy it and we will see you guys in the next one bye